Welcome, brave souls, to the abyss of mythical horrors. In this gripping journey, we unveil the unspeakable, exploring the darkest recesses of Hell's underworld. From demonic beasts to infernal entities, join us as we unravel the chilling tales of mythical creatures that haunt the damned. Let us begin. 1. Succubi and Incubi Succubi and Incubi, often associated with Western demonology, are demonic entities that appear in various cultures under different names. These creatures are said to seduce and engage in sexual activities with humans, draining their life force or causing harm. They often manifest as attractive individuals to lure their victims. Succubi and Incubi embody the temptation and moral corruption themes prevalent in Christian demonology, emphasizing the struggle between virtue and sin. 2. Baphomet Baphomet is a symbol associated with occultism and Satanism, often depicted as a humanoid figure with a goat's head, wings, and various esoteric symbols. Baphomet is a symbol of duality, embodying both darkness and enlightenment. It is often associated with occult rituals and mysteries. Baphomet has been linked to accusations of heresy and witchcraft, becoming a symbol of the mysterious and the forbidden. 3. Beelzebub Beelzebub, also known as the Lord of the Flies, is a demon mentioned in various religious texts, including Christianity and demonology. Often portrayed as a powerful and malevolent entity, Beelzebub is associated with decay, corruption, and the spreading of disease. Beelzebub represents the embodiment of filth and impurity, serving as a cautionary figure in moral and religious teachings. 4. Cerberus In Greek mythology, Cerberus is a three-headed dog guarding the entrance to the underworld, preventing the dead from escaping. With serpent-like tails and a mane of snakes, Cerberus is a fearsome and relentless guardian. Cerberus serves as a symbol of the boundary between the living and the dead, emphasizing the consequences of crossing into the realm of the afterlife. 5. Chimera The Chimera is a monstrous creature from Greek mythology, composed of parts from various animals, including a lion's body, a goat's head, and a serpent's tail. The Chimera embodies chaos and unnatural combinations representing the unpredictable and destructive forces of nature. The Chimera serves as a metaphor for the challenges and obstacles that heroes must overcome, showcasing the triumph of order over chaos. 6. Gorgons, Medusa In Greek mythology, the Gorgons, with Medusa as the most famous, are monstrous creatures with snakes for hair and the power to turn onlookers into stone. The Gorgons are symbols of female monstrosity, embodying both beauty and terror. Medusa, in particular, is a tragic figure cursed by her appearance. The Gorgons represent the dangers of unchecked feminine power and the consequences of defying divine authority. 7. Oni Oni are malevolent spirits or demons in Japanese folklore, often associated with hell-like realms. Oni are depicted as humanoid beings with horns, sharp claws, and a menacing appearance. They are known for causing harm and mischief. Oni symbolize the consequences of moral transgressions and are often used to teach lessons about virtue and righteousness. 8. Dibuk In Jewish folklore, a Dibuk is a malevolent spirit believed to possess and control the body of a living person. Dibuks are often spirits of the deceased, seeking unfinished business or revenge. They are associated with tragedy and misfortune. Dibuks reflect the Jewish belief in the supernatural and the consequences of unresolved issues in the realm of the living. 9. Preta, Hungry Ghost In Hinduism and Buddhism, the Preta is a type of hungry ghost, trapped in a state of perpetual craving and suffering. Represented as emaciated beings with insatiable appetites, praetors are unable to satisfy their hunger or thirst. The concept of praetors underscores the consequences of excessive desire and the importance of cultivating a balanced and virtuous life. 10. Demonic Dragons 
Dragons are prevalent in various mythologies worldwide, often associated with both benevolent and malevolent forces. Demonic dragons are typically depicted as powerful, fire-breathing creatures embodying chaos and destruction. The symbolism of demonic dragons transcends cultural boundaries, representing the eternal struggle between cosmic order and chaos. 11. Hecaton Cheris In Greek mythology, the Hecaton Cheris are three monstrous giants with a hundred hands and fifty heads each. These beings are forces of primal chaos, locked away in Tartarus, the deepest abyss of the underworld. The Hecaton Cheris symbolize the primordial chaos that existed before the establishment of the cosmos, serving as a reminder of the eternal struggle for order. 12. Chort In Slavic folklore, Chort is a demon associated with the underworld, often depicted as a grotesque creature with horns, hooves, and a tail. Chort is a trickster figure, tempting individuals to engage in immoral acts and leading them astray. Chort serves as a cautionary tale against succumbing to temptation and the consequences of straying from virtuous paths. 13. Keris In Greek mythology, the Keris are female death spirits associated with violent deaths in battle. The Keris are often depicted as sinister, winged beings who revel in the chaos and carnage of warfare. The presence of the Keris symbolizes the inevitability of death in the midst of conflict, emphasizing the brutality and transience of mortal existence. 14. Zibalba Demons In Mayan mythology, Zibalba is the underworld inhabited by malevolent deities and demons. Zibalba Demons are shape-shifting entities, embodying various forms of death, disease and decay. These demons represent the challenges faced by the souls navigating the underworld, showcasing the Mayan beliefs in the afterlife and the trials of the deceased. 15. Yakshi In Hindu and Buddhist traditions, Yakshis are female nature spirits associated with fertility, but some are also depicted as malevolent entities. Malevolent Yakshis are often portrayed as seductresses who drain the life force of their victims. The dual nature of Yakshis reflects the intricate balance between life and death, creation and destruction, prevalent in Eastern philosophies. 16. Kuei In Chinese mythology, Kuei are malevolent spirits of the deceased who have not found peace. Kuei are often depicted as restless and vengeful spirits, seeking retribution for perceived wrongs. The concept of Kuei emphasizes the importance of honoring ancestors and maintaining harmonious relationships with the spirit world to avoid the wrath of unsettled souls. 17. Tezcatlipoca In Aztec mythology, Tezcatlipoca is a powerful and complex deity associated with many aspects of life and death. Tezcatlipoca is often depicted as a smoking mirror, symbolizing the ephemeral nature of existence and the illusions of the material world. As a deity with both benevolent and malevolent aspects, Tezcatlipoca reflects the duality of life and serves as a reminder of the inevitable cycles of creation and destruction. 18. Asag In Sumerian mythology, Asag is a monstrous demon associated with chaos and illness. Asag is often described as a hideous creature with stones instead of teeth causing destruction and disease wherever it goes. Asag embodies the destructive forces of nature and the chaos that threatens to disrupt the order established by the gods. 19. Rakshasa In Hindu and Buddhist traditions, Rakshasas are malevolent supernatural beings, often depicted as shapeshifters and devourers of flesh. Rakshasas are powerful and cunning, representing the forces of darkness and chaos. These beings serve as antagonists in epic narratives, embodying the eternal struggle between good and evil, righteousness and unbridled desire. 20. Penangalan In Malaysian folklore, the Penangalan is a female demon who detaches her head and organs to fly through the night in search of blood. The Penangalan is often depicted as a beautiful woman by day, but her true form is revealed during her nocturnal hunts. 
This creature serves as a cautionary tale against the dangers of dark magic and the consequences of succumbing to forbidden practices. 21. Abizu Abizu is a demon originating from Jewish and Middle Eastern folklore, associated with stillbirths, miscarriages, and infant mortality. Abizu is portrayed as a malevolent spirit that preys upon pregnant women and newborns, causing various forms of harm. The folklore surrounding Abizu highlights the vulnerability of mothers and infants, addressing the fear and sorrow associated with the loss of young life. 22. Kawa no Kami In Japanese mythology, the Kawa no Kami are river deities, often associated with vengeful spirits and malevolent forces. These deities are believed to cause flooding, drownings and other water-related disasters as acts of divine retribution. The Kawa no Kami exemplify the dual nature of natural forces, emphasizing the need for respect and appeasement to maintain balance and avoid catastrophe. 23. Pishtako In South American folklore, particularly in the Andean region, the Pishtako is a malevolent entity associated with the abduction and consumption of human fat. The Pishtako is often depicted as a pale, humanoid figure wielding a knife, preying on unsuspecting individuals in remote areas. The Pishtako myth reflects societal fears of exploitation and violence, especially in isolated regions where strangers are viewed with suspicion. 24. Churls In South Asian folklore, churls are vengeful spirits of women who died during childbirth or as a result of societal injustice. Churls are depicted as ghostly figures with long, disheveled hair seeking revenge on those who wronged them or their families. The churl myth explores themes of injustice, societal norms, and the consequences of mistreating women, serving as a cautionary tale. 25. Datsueba In Japanese mythology, Datsueba is a hag-like demon associated with the afterlife, particularly the judgment of the dead. Datsueba is often depicted as an old woman who strips the flesh and clothes from the deceased, preparing them for the journey to the underworld. Datsueba emphasizes the inevitability of death and the rituals associated with the transition to the afterlife in Japanese folklore. 26. Tartaruchi In Roman mythology, the Tartaruchi are demonic entities responsible for administering punishment in Tartarus, a deep abyss in the underworld. Tartaruchi are often depicted as fearsome winged beings wielding instruments of torture, ensuring that the damned receive their due punishment. The Tartaruchi embody the concept of divine justice and the consequences of one's actions, serving as enforcers of cosmic order in the underworld. 27. Archiini In Inuit mythology, the Archiini are malevolent spirits that inhabit the sea ice, appearing as disembodied heads with trailing intestines. Archiini are believed to lure unsuspecting travelers by imitating the sounds of loved ones, leading them to their doom on the frozen tundra. The Akiyini myth highlights the dangers of the Arctic environment and the importance of navigation skills to avoid falling victim to supernatural trickery. 28. Chaneques In Mexican folklore, Chaneques are mischievous spirits or sprites associated with the wilderness and natural landscapes. Chaneques are often depicted as small humanoid beings with animal-like features, capable of both playful tricks and vindictive acts. The Chaneques serve as guardians of the wilderness, punishing those who disrespect nature or harm the environment, blending elements of environmentalism with folklore. 29. Rusalka In Slavic mythology, Rusalki are female spirits associated with bodies of water, such as lakes and rivers, often considered malevolent and linked to drownings. Rusalki are portrayed as ethereal, beautiful women with the ability to lure and drown unsuspecting individuals. The Rusalki myth reflects the dangers of water bodies and serves as a cautionary tale against recklessness or disrespect towards nature. 30. Nuwa 
In Chinese mythology, Nuwa is a goddess associated with the creation of humanity and the repair of the heavens. While generally a benevolent deity, Nuwa is also associated with the underworld, overseeing the judgment of the dead. Nuwa represents the dual nature of creation and destruction, embodying the cyclical forces that govern life, death and rebirth in Chinese cosmology. 31. Kanbari Nyudo In Japanese folklore, the Kanbari Nyudo is a toilet-dwelling spirit that manifests as a monk or priest. This mischievous spirit is said to reside in bathrooms, frightening or playing pranks on unsuspecting individuals. The Kanbari Nyudo myth highlights the cultural taboos surrounding sanitation and serves as a humorous cautionary tale about maintaining cleanliness and respect for private spaces. 32. Sakarath In Arabian mythology, Sakarath is a demonic entity associated with disease and pestilence. Sakarath is often depicted as a winged creature spreading illness and suffering throughout communities. Sakarath embodies the fear of epidemics and the consequences of neglecting hygiene and public health, providing a supernatural explanation for the spread of diseases. 33. Tengu In Japanese folklore, Tengu are supernatural beings often depicted with both human and bird-like features associated with the mountains and forests. Tengu can be both benevolent protectors of the natural world and mischievous tricksters capable of causing chaos. The duality of Tengu reflects the delicate balance between harmony with nature and the potential for disruption, offering insights into the Japanese reverence for the environment. 34. Kerr In Scottish folklore, the Kerr is a malevolent spirit associated with death and doom, particularly in the form of a black hound. The Kerr is often considered an omen of impending death, appearing to individuals as they approach their demise. The Kerr myth reflects the Scottish belief in supernatural portents and serves as a reminder of the uncertainty and inevitability of death. 35. Atse In Basque mythology, the Atse is a mythical creature in the form of a red bull, associated with the underworld and the forces of nature. The Atsi is both a protector and a punisher, capable of causing earthquakes and other natural disasters. The Atsa embodies the Basque people's connection to the earth and their respect for the unpredictable forces of nature, emphasizing the need for harmony with the environment. 36. Alp In Germanic folklore, the Alp is a demonic creature associated with nightmares and sleep paralysis. The Alp is believed to be a shape-shifting entity that torments individuals during their sleep, causing bad dreams and feeding off their fear. The Alp myth explores the psychological and supernatural aspects of sleep-related phenomena, reflecting the fears and anxieties associated with the vulnerability of sleep. 37. Kalikantsaro In Greek and Balkan folklore, the Kalikantsaro is a goblin-like creature that emerges during the Christmas season, causing mischief and chaos. Kalikantsari are believed to dwell underground, but surface during the 12 days of Christmas, creating havoc until the holiday season concludes. The Kalikantsaro myth blends elements of festive traditions with a cautionary tale, warning against disruptive behavior during sacred times. 38. Namahage in Japanese folklore, Namahage is a demon-like creature that visits households during the New Year's season to admonish lazy or misbehaving children. Namahage is often depicted wearing fearsome masks and straw garments, embodying the spirit of discipline and hard work. The Namahage tradition reflects the cultural emphasis on diligence and moral conduct, using folklore as a tool for instilling values in the younger generation. 39. Strigoi. In Romanian folklore, the Strigoi is a vampiric creature that rises from the dead, often associated with malevolent spirits seeking revenge. Strigoi are believed to be reanimated corpses with the ability to shapeshift, haunt the living, and drain the life force from their victims. The Strigoi myth intertwines themes of death, vengeance, and the supernatural, 
reflecting the cultural fascination with the afterlife and the consequences of unresolved grievances. 40. Yaramayahu. In Australian Aboriginal mythology, the Yaramayahu is a small red creature resembling a humanoid frog associated with cannibalism. The Yaramayahu is said to lurk in trees, capturing and consuming unsuspecting travelers before regurgitating them back to life to repeat the process. The Yaramayahu myth serves as a cautionary tale emphasizing the dangers of venturing alone into the wilderness and the consequences of disrespecting nature. 41. Banshee In Irish folklore, the Banshee is a female spirit associated with foretelling death, often appearing as a wailing woman before a family member's passing. The Banshee is believed to be a harbinger of death, mourning the impending loss and signaling the departure of a loved one. The Banshee myth connects with the cultural reverence for ancestors and the supernatural, providing a mystical explanation for the mysterious aspects of death. 42. Dzunukwa In Pacific Northwest Native American mythology, the Dzunukwa is a giant supernatural being associated with the forest and fertility. The Dzunukwa is often depicted as a large masked figure with a mouth on the top of her head, symbolizing her insatiable appetite. The Dzunukwa myth highlights the importance of respecting nature, balancing human activities with environmental preservation, and acknowledging the consequences of greed. 43. Mananangal In Filipino folklore, the Mananangal is a vampiric, shape-shifting creature, often depicted as a woman who detaches her upper torso to fly in search of victims. The Mananangal preys on pregnant women and consumes the hearts or fetuses of unborn children, instilling fear in communities. The Mananangal myth explores cultural taboos surrounding pregnancy, childbirth and the supernatural, serving as a cautionary tale about the vulnerability of expectant mothers. 44. Praikolici In Romanian folklore, the Praikolici is a supernatural creature often considered a type of werewolf or vampire associated with malevolent spirits. Prikoliki are believed to be individuals who return from the dead, transforming into wolf-like creatures with a taste for human flesh. The Prikoliki myth reflects cultural anxieties surrounding death, the supernatural, and the consequences of moral transgressions. 45. Nagual In Mesoamerican mythology, Particularly among the Aztecs and Nahua peoples, the Nagual is a shape-shifting creature, often associated with witchcraft and spiritual transformation. Naguals are believed to have the ability to transform into animals, such as jaguars or wolves, serving as guides or protectors for individuals with a spiritual connection to them. The Nagual myth explores the interconnection between humans and the natural world, blending elements of spirituality and animism. 46. Linan Shidi In Irish folklore, the Linan Sihi is a fairy muse or spirit that bestows artistic inspiration upon individuals, often with a dark and tragic twist. The Linan Sihi is said to be beautiful and alluring, providing creativity and inspiration to artists, but often leading them to madness or an untimely demise. The Lianan Sidi myth delves into the complexities of artistic inspiration, exploring the fine line between creativity and the darker aspects of the human psyche. 47. Bunyip In Australian Aboriginal mythology, the Bunyip is a mythical creature believed to inhabit bodies of water, such as swamps, rivers and billabongs. Descriptions of the Bunyip vary with some attributing it to a water-dwelling creature, while others see it as a spirit capable of shape-shifting. The Bunyip myth reflects the cultural importance of water sources and the unknown mysteries lurking in the Australian landscape. 48. Chupacabra In Latin American folklore, particularly in Puerto Rico and Mexico, the Chupacabra is a legendary creature known for attacking and draining the blood of livestock. 
The chupacabra is often described as a reptilian creature with spikes or quills along its back, and it has become a prominent figure in modern urban legends. The chupacabra myth blends elements of traditional folklore with contemporary anxieties surrounding unexplained phenomena, contributing to cryptozoological lore. 49. Mormo In ancient Greek and later Roman mythology, Mormo is a female spectre or vampiric being associated with the fear of the unknown, particularly in relation to children. Mormo is often depicted as a monstrous figure that frightens and preys upon misbehaving or disobedient children. The Mormo myth serves as a cautionary tale to encourage obedience and good behavior in children, emphasizing the consequences of straying from societal norms. 50. Ude Rode Ogen, Old Red Eyes. In Dutch and Belgian folklore, Ude Rode Ogen is a malevolent creature often described as a demon or spectral hound with glowing red eyes. Uda Roda Ogun is said to roam the night, particularly in graveyards, and is associated with fear and malevolence. The Uda Roda Ogun myth reflects the pervasive fear of the unknown and the supernatural in European folklore, embodying the spectral entities that inspire terror in the darkness. As we end up this video, comment, like and subscribe to this channel. The mythical creatures of hell, whether demonic entities, grotesque monsters or malevolent spirits, play pivotal roles in shaping cultural narratives and moral teachings. These beings, born from the human imagination and the need to understand the complexities of good and evil, continue to captivate and terrify across different societies and belief systems. The exploration of these mythical creatures provides insights into the human psyche, our collective fears, and the eternal quest for meaning in the face of the unknown. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of Hell's denizens, we discover a rich cultural heritage that transcends boundaries, connecting humanity through the shared experience of grappling with the darker aspects of existence. See you again in next video.